Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pleb. In today's video, we are going to cover the Canadian government embarrassing us yet again. The Canadian government got absolutely ratioed on Twitter when they decided to wear women's clothing to virtue signal. Canada continues being an embarrassment on the world stage. The entire world is laughing at Canada due to how woke we are. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you won't want to miss this video. But before we start the video, like my video, subscribe to my channel because Bill C 11s here. The Canadian government is censoring the internet. So make sure to subscribe to the pleb, put on post notifications so you see when my videos go out. Don't let the communists Justin Trudeau government decide what you see on YouTube. You decide, subscribe to the pleb. Let's start the video. So tonight's top story starts with none other than Omar Algebra, the king of the ratios, getting ratioed yet again. But this time, Omar gets ratioed on an international stage. It all starts with this tweet. Omar comes out and says, violence against women is prevalent in our society. Hope in Heels is an event that spreads awareness on violence against women while encouraging men and boys to be part of the solution by wearing women's clothing. We wore their signature pink heels in support of this important cause. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's watch this clip. Let's see the clip that went ultra viral around the world. Let's see what set people off in this clip. Let's watch it together. <laughs> oh my God, look at them. Look at them. Humiliating. Look at that guy in the front. Let's let's replay that slowly here. Let's uh let's let's watch the guy in the front here. I'll play this on slow motion. Look at him strut his moves. Look how oh my god, he's really owning it. Oh my god, look at him dancing around. So embarrassing. Oh my god. Now he points the finger. He's pointing the finger. Look at him. He's like, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is so cringe. This is just so cringe. So cringe. Weak men create hard times. And our government is filled with weak men and weak women. Ah, so I can see why Twitter went off on this video. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this tweet got itself absolutely ratioed. It was a very, very brutal ratio. If you look at this video, Omar's tweet has 1,200 likes with 8,600. You heard that right. 8,600 replies. Let's do some napkin math here. This is like a seven to one ratio. And it also has 2,741 retweets. So Omar managed to embarrass us on the world stage yet again. Well, then Omar just couldn't help himself, but he had to go and quote tweet himself to talk some shit. He had this to say, a credible organization that combats violence against women has been coming for years to parliament, asking male MPs to help them raise awareness about their work. Yet a group of insecure men. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Gets triggered when they see men wearing high heels to speak how fragile their ego is. Omar, this has nothing Nothing to do with our egos. This has everything to do with you embarrassing us on the world stage. We are about to go to World War III. Do you think Vladimir Putin or President Xi are looking at us being all woke and shaking in their boots in fear? No, they are laughing at us. Our enemies are laughing at us, but even worse, our friends are laughing at us. Conservatives across the world are laughing at us. We continue being a joke on the world stage. Let's go and see what Twitter had to say about, about this video. We'll start it off with Jordan Peterson saying, you're utterly pathetic. Perfect. Agreed. Headshot. And look at this tweet here. It has 23,000 likes. Omar's tweet has like 800 likes on it. This is an absolute 30 to 1 bloodbath of a ratio. Well done, Jordan Peterson. Even Harrison Faulkner from True North had a comment to say, saying, this is something else. 
Uh, it truly is. There's nothing redeeming. There's nothing good from this. It just makes us look like weak, pathetic, virtue singling cowards. Another tweet here from the biggest wokeness account on all of Twitter. This is the biggest account that calls out wokeness on Twitter. Came and had, even had something to say about this video from Canada. Male politicians in Canada wearing heels to combat domestic abuse. Emotional damage. Agreed. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it was not only the liberals who were virtue signaling in all of this. The conservatives played their part in this nonsense. We have a picture here from Larry Brock MP, who's one of the, who considered one of the most conservative MPs in all of Parliament, is out here wearing his pink heels. And if you don't believe me, this is him in the actual video. I circled it for you guys because some people on Twitter were saying, hey, pleb, that looks photoshopped. There's no way that's real. No, the conservatives in this country are literally wearing pink heels. Even Aaron O'Toole did it a couple of years ago at a parade. All right, let's go on Twitter and let's kind of read the comments and see what people have to say about what they just saw. Our first tweet comes from Mike saying, these comments say it all. I have no words left to describe these flaky public parasites. I think many people watching this video would probably agree that our government are parasites. Our next tweet here comes from George Hampton saying, you're more used to wearing footwear that makes you look ridiculous. For those who don't know the joke, Omar Aljamar, Aljamar, Algebra, loves wearing Adidas shoes with his nice suits. So he's taking a jab at his shoe choices. We have another tweet here from Melissa Mbarki saying, my mom was a domestic abuse survivor, and this is not the way you bring, <laughs> the way you bring awareness to the issue. Well done. Great comment as usual, Melissa Mbarki. Follow her on Twitter. Agreed, Melissa. Virtue signaling accomplishes nothing. It truly does. They're just taking a little video for Twitter so they can go get some cheap likes, some cheap retweets. Why don't you actually go and to a woman's shelter, donate some of your time, donate some of your money instead of just going on social media and virtue signaling because that is what I call garbage. Our next tweet comes from Miranda Vera Cruz saying, this calls for a Bud Light. <laughs> That's a great comment. Our government are just a bunch of Bud Light drinkers at this point. They are all on the Bud Light. They're all in on it together. Last comment here from Nicole McTagg. How is men trying to walk in pink heels encouraging anyone to part of a solution to stop violence against women? 100% agreed. This does not make me feel safe at all. Quite the opposite. All they are doing is making a mockery out of women for some cheap virtue signaling points. It's absolutely disgusting. We'll end this video off with a Photoshop from none other than Kirky86 here, having <laughs> Lowry Brock, conservative MP, drinking some Bud Light <laughs> with, <laughs> with his pink heels. Ah, too funny. I love Twitter. Ladies and gentlemen, is the pleb overreacting to this? I don't know. I want you guys to tell me in the comments. Do you think that wearing pink heels is the way to end domestic abuse or bring up awareness? Are there better ideas to bring up domestic awareness? Let me know in the comments, guys. Make sure to like my video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel and put on post notifications so you don't miss my next video. Ladies and gentlemen, the pleb is out. Justin. Tell the people what to do. See you at the next video. And as we all know on YouTube, really important, don't forget to subscribe and we'll talk soon.